All right, everyone, it's James here, and uh, we're going to go over just a basic chart setup and strategy setup for some of you guys have been asking me. Um, so here we go. This is just going to go to new chart, and let's select uh, we'll select ES here. Over here is the templates. Uh, the templates are all in Discord. You can download this one. This is the one I use. Um, here's your brick size. Now you have all these different ones in here that I have that I just use in ends of rank code. 99% of the time, um, I have it already set here. So the way you would do that, if you wanted to change it, you would say you want to go whatever 20 and 2 you don't want that clicked if you're unless you're doing playback you want to check tick replay five days to load uh, that'd be today you don't have to mess with this one this will be break uh would, would break at um it would break at midnight um for london session eastern time i just leave it unchecked uh, your candlestick, obviously bar width, all this will stay the same. Um, auto scale. This is pretty much standard uh, when you open Ninja. Um, these are my particular colors for executions. You can plot uh, text and marker or just do not plot your trades. Uh, that's up to you. And then in order to save this here, all this, you're just going to go like this, click there, and save. So, the next time you open, this will all be in here for you. Alright, and then OK. <clears throat> Let this load. All that's loading. There we go, alright. <clears throat> Um, now, if you want to get rid of all this up top here, the way you would do that, and I uh, have it on my other templates, uh, you would go here, I'm sorry, not here, you would go to your indicators, okay, and then these are the indicators that are listed, so what, what's happening here is uh, the label so if I would erase this label and click OK, you see that's gone now. So once again, you would right click, go to indicators, and then you would just check your indicators. And like for instance, we'll just do it real quick here. Take this one, uh, label, remove that, time band. Remove that trade point, and I kind of like it this way um, because oh, where do I go here? I use super trend right here, label, <coughs> and then swing. Okay, and there you go. You nice clean chart, none of that up here. You don't really need that. So then what you're going to go back here is go to your templates, save as, and then if you already have it listed, you just double click it and replace it, and there you go. So, um, as far as the indicators go, we have the swing indicator, the fib retrace, which I use mostly. Uh, this is the trade point, um, the EMA and the SMA. Just pretty much basic stuff here for uh, NINZA. Now for strategies, we're going to go click on strategies. These are the ones I've been using. Now I have a brand new one here that I really like, Impulse Trader. We'll go over more over this in another video, but just to set up a, your strategy, a basic strategy. This one has an ATM, so you can use an ATM with this strategy. So what you would want to do, if 
So you're going to do that. You go over here and pick an ATM. And you would copy this right here. And then you would paste it in your strategy. So for now, <clears throat> this one was modified by uh, Danny Ocean, I believe, in the uh, Discord channel. Very good. This has a chop detector. You can click uh, the time filter. You can set this for 7,000, which means 7 a.m., 8 a.m. Um, for your take profit and stop loss, this is preset. You can change this however you want. So, so you want 15, whatever you want. You're going to want to leave these alone. Okay. Make sure you're on the right account. You're you're not, if you don't want to use it live, make sure you're on SIM. Please stay the same. Uh, you can enable it here. Like that. I can't enable it because I'm not connected. Order fill resolution. If you're doing a back test, you leave that on high. Uh, if not, if you're just trading with it, you leave it standard. Exit on session close. No. And the reason why is. If it's in a trade, it'll close it in the middle of it. Here you can go to the order quantity and go to strategy, which is just going to give you one contract. Now you want to change it, you go to default quantity, and just put it however many you want. So you just want two, it'll do two. You always leave this, this will all stay the same. Entry handling will be all entries. Uh, the rest of this stays the same and you just check you would just check enabled and then you're good so that's how you do the strategy also if your strategy is not working you'll have a D up here in front of the strategy so that'll always tell you you know you can just go here and strategies and then click enable it or disable it whatever you want to do all right I hope that helps everybody uh, have a great night